Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome to our immersive engineering tutorial series. What the heck? There's, there goes that again, jeez. Uh, Sorry, I, was, I can't turn I knew it that off. That was gonna scare me. Okay, so welcome back. Um, she, what the? Another thing. Oh goodness. What's going on, Shiva? What? Okay. So apparently, <laughs> when he starts it, this goes nuts. I can't even see anything. Apparently, it's Armageddon. So, so the, Shiva has made this place his world in a world in a different mod pack of his own devising, and I'm, I just it sounds like the world's exploding around us. I'm going to set up a shield and, uh, before things get so And so up. he's gonna show us um, all the stuff he's set up here using immersive integration. Uh, so mm -hmm. to give us a little bit of a feel as to uh, what you can do with immersive integration, so that going forward mm -hmm. for the, we'll have you know these next couple episodes, see if you really want immersive integration. I know a couple people have already said, yeah, we want immersive integration tutorials. So what, we're going to do this, okay. and then we'll get into that in subsequent weeks. So uh, Shiva, why don't you show us this right here? Well, for starters, this is my generator setup that I'm still kind of working on the final kinks of, seeing how I can expand it further. So far, I only got to like four. But the way it works is it uses Redstone and NRIO's, um, I think it's engine controller or power monitor, I can't remember what it's called exactly, to monitor the power of these batteries over here. These batteries over here, and you can see one light's on showing. And I set these all at percentages, and and behind them is an invert vanilla inverted redstone setup. The way the way immersive integration comes in, it it provides these wiring, this this redstone wire, which allows me to easily control just using like a few wires without having to do like multiple lines, cables, and everything, and things like that. Yeah, or, or just using like 20 to 30 um, redstone cables from Ender I.O. So this would look, if I were to do the math properly, this would probably take me taking like a stack and a half of redstone cabling from Ender I.O. where this took me like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cable. Yes, yeah, so redstone wire. That's very cool. And so as mm -hmm. you can see here, you know, he's got these painted different colors. But the yes, and with each paint color, is basically each engine, so it doesn't yeah like a different channel, but wires. you can still run them over one wire, so that's very cool. So that's like the mm -hmm. that's one thing we'll take a look at in the immersive integration. And and and, and and over here, you can see I have a the terminal here, which you can see there's no wiring, yeah. there's no actual connection to the terminal with the actual cables, and everything. That's because I'm using the immersive integration. It's a U to a I can't. Oh. The ME transformers and the uh... flux. It's called flux wire coils, okay. and 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 the the transformers. If you were to follow me all the way down here, pretend this is like a remote, like a pretend. The closest yeah. thing is if you're like spraying out all your facilities and everything. Yep. This is where this coming key. Like you have a main building for your. Your terminal and everything you right click that you'll see you have a bunch of items in there yep if you come down here you should be able to see the same items yep. just as easily take a look at that so that's what this purple wire is mm -hmm. the purple wire now i will say this much i found i know sandals gonna probably give you the exact length but i'll say this much this is perfectly better used with port to port instead of using just the dense wires because if you use the port to port um, stuff for AE2, which you can do. And the P2P stuff um, we did you can earlier. See, yeah, the P2P. You can see that the smaller, the, the H channel wire is is much longer than the dense cable, and you get more for your worth because because for this thing, it costs like, um, if I do remember correctly, like eight flux crystals, while this yeah. one costs like 10 or 20 flux ah. crystals for the dense stuff. Okay. Yeah, I can see there's a definite difference in thickness on these wires. Yeah, and also the length, and, and also you can easily do like things a lot better. Yeah. And also, see, uh, it's it's almost also as long as an HV wire for as standard. Yeah. And also, the redstone wire is as long as an HV wire. That's good. So you can easily, so if you wanted to, you can easily have like a bunch of extractors laid out in different areas, getting resources you need. Yes. And you can, and let's say you're starting to have power issues, you start turning them off one by one. It's very from, handy. From all the way to your main power hub. I, I should. I, I think I'll, I'm going to need to put this in my uh, 
Let's play a world. Ryan mm -hmm. Crusher. Too bad I can't play with you. Help. Very, <laughs> it's very neat. These mm -hmm. are stone layers are cool, yeah. Yeah. Um. So now what? Uh, let's let's take a look at this massive amalgamation of cows over here. Uh, I was just showing off that what you can do with transformers. Really, I was trying to get proper power drain on that. Just system put two over there, Oh, I see, I, just... I see what you've done. You, you've taken. You know, you don't need to do that. Can, yeah, you, I, I realized that. Go, yeah, it done. can go straight from HV to LD. Yeah. I was basically trying to figure out how, what's the best way to drain power off the generator so it gets shut off. And you've got what is this? You've got a big redstone repeater set up over here. Oh, that's so uh, does this. Um, no, that's that. That is that it. I believe. So watch what happens. Oh, to dispense bottles. Yeah, I, I have slower rain up constantly pouring them out. Nice. It's your little milk bottling plant, Shiva's dairy, <laughs> where the cows are crammed in so tightly that they. That one lava bucket would probably kill them off. <laughs> right. So this is pretty cool. Um, what you've got going on. Mm -hmm. So this just goes to show how yeah. you can use different mods and immersive integration to really control a lot of stuff. And yeah, and this is like, and this is not finite. It's just four generators. I've done the math. If you had like fifty of these, you could be that finite with this system. Fifty generators. Yeah, fifty. Yes. That's a lot of diesel generators. I wonder what kind yep, of uh, fuel production you need to support that. Well, depends how much power you're pouring. You can have like a, like you can have like, you could do something like maybe have an arc furnace on standby constantly. Every time when you need need it, you use more generators kicked in, and it'll probably only like burn like a small batch of fuel. Nice. But with this setup, you're basically when this, if I were to turn off the excavator, I believe, and let the battery recharge it quickly this here, it's like it's pouring. Yeah, turn off and if essentially it will not be draining power. If I were connected, connected to like to say a standard um, immersive engineering powered light, it'll be constantly burning fuel. Right. But this, you're only burning like maybe ten or twenty seconds of fuel every like up to how much depending on your draw. Like it, for here, it's like five hundred RF and it burns off. And this thing, this battery holds like twenty thousand RF, so five percent, twenty so billion, ten like percent of the. I'm 20 million, and if you think of how much that is... Quite a lot. Oh, it just turned for, off. Yeah, it, yeah. But if you can think about that... Yeah. Look, to set up, you can, you only burn... If you have, like, a burn, like, like this amount, like, 400 RF, it could go for maybe 10 or 20 minutes without burning a drop of fuel, and then maybe it runs, like, 10 or 30 seconds just Very to refill nice. the battery. So the way you've got this set up is that it's checking the how... The percentage of how much power is in here and when it gets down to a certain point it'll kick on one or more of these generators yeah and also one Very thing cool. is it's not limited to and also if you let's say you're burning let's say enough for all four generators burning enough energy that all four generators to run they will kick on it sequentially until it's maxed out nice. and until it and what happens is as this thing's running until it not, until it, until it has a surplus of power being produced it will keep turning on generators very cool so if i were to have like each like enough machines running where where three of these were running it'll first start by powering this one on then start with this mm -hmm. one this one and if it's still be not making enough power to, to overcome the loss they'll turn this one on until it when it, when it reaches that point nice. and then stop turning things on I like it. I really, I yeah. Like, I like the setup. I like the idea, Sheeps. The only limit I can see is, is how 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 much wire you can stick out out yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> because this thing's, this thing's like um, if I remember if I remember quickly, each one of these boosts like four thousand RF each. Yeah. And that's how much the HP wire could make. So that's six, like. Yeah. yeah. So you need to build this build something similar to the poles I over I have over here. Yeah. Set Power up. poles, high tension wires everywhere. Yeah, yeah, but that you can make them look nice. And you also put like a redstone thing just, just to help oh, on top of them if you yeah, want to. So just going to where you need it to. Well, very nice. Thanks for for building this and showing us shoes. Mm -hmm. I just want to let everyone know a couple of things before we close off this video. There wasn't an ep a video up on Tuesday uh, because my aunt died on Sunday evening, and I didn't feel like making one. There was a video on Monday because the stuff was already recorded. So if I miss out on a Friday's video, which I'm going to try not to do because I really like doing that, but if, if any of them are missing, you know why. I've got a funeral to go to on Friday. 
it's not been a good year for us. Uh, 2016. Uh, we've lost three. Yeah. Three, uh, three people so far. So uh, not you know, the. Yeah. 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 And I've lost my very month yeah. or two. So anyway, everyone, um, stay tuned for future episodes. Stay tuned for the immersive integration videos coming out. Um, another thank you to Sheaves. Uh, I'm Sutton Leach, and I'm signing out. Oh, one more thing. One more thing I can say. If people want me to, I can probably put a tutorial up for this on my channel later on if they want want to see what the copy the generator design and the same sure. in case they want to know. She, or I could come on to come on to Sentinel too. Let's see even know in the comments if you want to see a, a, a step by step tutorial for this uh, generator setup. Alright, signing off. Yeah.